Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very, very interesting and challenging question from radical mathematics. Here we have x known, which is 2 over root 3 plus root 5 minus 1 over root 4 plus root 15. And x power 9 is a root 6 minus b root 2 given. Then we have to evaluate a plus b value. So let's get started with the method of rationalization. I will write x. By denominators conjugate, I will multiply in the numerator denominator. So I will be writing 2 times the square root of 3 minus root 5. And in denominator also, 3 plus root 5 times 3 minus root 5. Now second term. I will multiply here with the square root 4 minus root 15. So in denominator also I will write the square root of 4 plus root 15 times 4 minus root 15. Now you can see in denominator a plus b, a minus b. So difference of two squares formula will come into the picture. Let's use, I will write 2 times square root. 3 minus root 5 divided by the square root of a square minus b square. Here a is 3, so 3 square. Here b is root 5, so root 5 is square. Minus the square root of 4 minus root 15 divided by the square root of a is 4 here, so 4 is square minus root 15 is square. Now root 5 that root will be cancelled with power 2. So denominator will be 9 minus 5 for first term. Let me write here 2 times square root 3 minus root 5 divided by square root of 9 minus 5. Here I will be writing minus root 5. 4 minus root 15 and denominator will be square root of 16 minus 15. So this value will be square root 1 in denominator and for first denominator it is root 4 which I will write 2. So let's write 2 times 3 minus root 5 divided by, it was root 4, I am writing 2, minus the square root of 4 minus root 15. Denominator was 1. This was our x. Now 2 will be cancelled out. Now it was a square root. Now x is equal to a square root 3 minus root 5 minus a square root 4 minus root 15. Now I will multiply here with 2 in the numerator and denominator. So 3 minus root 5. You can see multiplied with denominator and numerator by 2. A square root 2 times 4 minus root 15 divided by 2. Now I will multiply. I will write square root of 6 minus 2 root 5 divided by 2 minus, here I will be writing 8 minus 2 root 15 divided by 2. Now I will write 6 as 5 plus 1. So let us write 5 as root 5 is square, 1 as 1 is square and then minus 2 root 5 divided by 2 as it is minus the square root of now 8 can be written as 5 plus 3 so 5 i will write root 5 is square 3 i will write root 3 whole is square and then remaining terms as it is 2 times root 15 and denominator is 2 now you can see it is formula a square plus b square minus 2ab 
a square plus b square minus 2ab. So I will write directly this is a square root. Numerator is root 5 minus 1 whole square over 2. Here square root root 5 minus root 3 whole square divided by 2. So now numerator power 2 whole square that will be cancelled out with root. Let me write here. So we can write root 5 minus 1 over root 2 directly. Then we have minus root 5 minus root 3 over root 2 because the square root and power will be cancelled out. And here I will put bracket. This was x. Now let us open this bracket. I will write root 5 minus 1 minus root 5 plus root 3 and denominator is common root 2. Now we can cancel root 5 with minus root 5. So it is left only root 3 minus 1 over root 2. Now this is our x. Now I will cross multiply. I will be writing root 2 times x or let us write x root 2 equal to root 3 minus 1. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write power 2, power 2. So it will become 2x square equal to a minus b whole square. So a square is 3, b square is 1 and minus 2ab, so minus 2 root 3. It is 2x square equal to 4 minus 2 square root 3. Equation is divisible by 2. I will divide. So x square will be equal to 2 minus root 3. This is our x square value. Let me put in the bracket box. Now I will consider squaring once again. But before that, I will take x square to the side of 2. Let me write here x square is equal to 2 minus root 3 or I can write 2 minus x square equal to root 3. Now consider squaring both sides. So I will write power 2, power 2, a minus b whole square, 2 square is 4 plus b square so x power 4 minus 2ab, so I will write minus 4x square equal to 3. So from here I can write x power 4 minus 4x square and plus 1 equal to 0. Or I can write x power 4 will be equal to 4x square minus 1. Now I will consider squaring for very last time. So I will write here power 2, power 2. This will give us x power 8 equal to a minus b whole square formula. So 16x power 4 a square plus 1 b square it is minus 8x square. Now I will plug in x power 4 value. It was, see it is written also, x power 4 is 4x square minus 1 from here. So let's apply, I will write 16 times 4x square minus 1. Then it is plus 1 minus 8x square. So I can write here 64x square minus 16 plus 1 minus 8x square. 64 minus 8, 56 it is. And minus 16 plus 1 minus 15. So this is our x power 8 value. Now I will apply the value of x square now because x square was 2 minus root 3 if you remember. 
let us apply here so x square 2 minus root 3 i will plug in here so let me write x power 8 value first x power 8 is equal to 56 x square minus 15 56 x square minus 15 and x square was 2 minus square root 3. Let's apply 56 2 minus root 3 minus 15. 56 times 2. So 112 minus 56 root 3 minus 15. 112 minus 15, 97 it is, minus 56 root 3. This is our x power 8. Now the turn of finding x power 9 as it is required for our x power 9, this expression. So I will write x power 9 will be equal to x power 8 times x. So I will be writing here both the values. If you remember the value of x, x was root 3 minus 1 over root 2. So let us apply. x power 8 is 97 minus 56 root 3. x is root 3 minus 1 divided by root 2. So I will resolve numerator first. 97 root 3, then minus 97, then minus 56 times 3. So it will become 168. And then plus 56 root 3. In denominator, it is a square root 2. Now 97 plus 56, if I will add both, I will write, it is 153 root 3 and 168 minus 97, so it will become minus 265 and denominator is root. Now I will multiply numerator and denominator by root 2, let's multiply. So root 2, here also root 2. So this will give us 153 root 6, root 3 times root 2. Now we will multiply with this. So I will be writing minus 265 root 2 and denominator is 2. Now I will compare A and B value from this x power 9 equation. Now it is framing a root 6 minus b root 2 format. So let me compare both and let me write a and b value. So a is 153 over 2 and b is 265 over 2. Let me write here x power 9 153 over 2 minus 265 over 2 and this is root 2. Now let us compare right side. So this is our A and this is our B. So I will write here A is equal to 153 over 2 and B is equal to 265 over 2. Now our expression let me call E A plus B this will be 153 over 2 plus 265 over 2. If I will add both see denominator is common so I will be writing 153 plus 265 it will give us 418 418 divided by 2 so our final answer will come out 209. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.